evening from the Walt Disney World parking lot. <laughs> we are headed into Magic Kingdom today for fun. Yeah, we're just gonna have a good time. Yeah. We've been working really hard on the nursery, which we hope to show you guys very soon. It's almost done. So we thought tonight we're just gonna like relax at Disney World. Yeah. We have one fast pass for Dumbo, and then the world is our oyster. I think we might try the new hot dog. Oh yeah. Maybe, we'll see. It's like a fried pickle hot dog. It looks kind of good and also kind of gross at the same time. Yes. Um, I wore a hat because it's still like really sunny and hot. Hopefully it helps. And yeah. it might rain. Never so, know. Yeah, we're not really sure. The weather's been really weird. <laughs> it has been terrible. Yeah. But yeah, let's do it. Let's head in. Monorail. Toy Story 4. What the heck is going on here? They're taking away all oh, of the... Oh, do you see the them all right there? Yeah. Oh no. They're just like, these are trash. I know, I saw them in a big pile and I was like, that's so sad. Right? Ooh. It's uh, strangely busy. I feel like a lot of people are coming in right now. It did just stop raining earlier today, maybe like an hour ago. I think they had the same idea we had. Right? Ding dang. They just cleaned the fountain. You can smell it. Oh yeah, I was wondering what that smell was. It smells like bleach. It does, that's so weird. It is weird. There's also a reserve section right here. I don't know what it's for. Um, maybe for, is there a dessert party here? Yeah, but they don't do anything here. They they sit them back there or in the lawn over there. Oh, well, maybe it's for wheelchairs? I don't know. We are on our way to Dumbo. It's one of the only rides I can ride. Yeah. And we were able to get a fast pass, so we were lucky. I don't think we were lucky. I think there's a bountiful fast passes for Dumbo. You think? Yeah. I feel like it's like gonna... like Ariel, like under the sea. Oh, we got one for that too. I thought. Well, we're gonna get it. We're gonna do this the way that you get a fast pass. We only got one fast pass, uh -huh. so we're gonna ride it. And after I check in, I'm gonna try to get another fast pass for the next ride, so that we can get more fast passes. Because if I had only like booked three before we left the house, uh -huh. I feel like we probably only would have gotten through three rides today. Oh, because of the way they time you out. The yeah, they, they give you an hour. Out. We only have like two hours in the park though. Yeah, I can get in like four rides. You think? Yeah. All right, let's, it's a challenge. Oh no. We gotta eat in there too. Oh yeah. Where is the mouse looking? That's Timothy, right? Yeah. yeah. He's looking at Seven Dwarves Mine Train. <laughs> He's like, I wish I could ride it. <laughs> this is not your first ride since you were pregnant. I was about to say that it was, it was Pirates. Oh, it was Pirates because you guys, um, one of you guys in the comments said that Pirates was your first ride. And so I'm like, that would be my first ride. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, Barnstormer's not running right now. Wonder what happened. It's gonna rain? No. I think somebody lost a hat or something. Oh. Maybe. Funny. Yeah. I always like how the fast pass line teases you with some air conditioning because you just go in and then turn around and head back out. It feels very nice. Yeah, it does. We totally could have been in that Dumbo right there. What color do you think we'll have? Orange. Orange. I was like Mike was outseeing you with the shadow. Just raise the fender. Wanna go up really high? I don't know. Yeah, we'll go up really high. Get ready to take off with the Here we go. You see those storks up there? Oh yeah, they're bringing baby elephants. That's where babies come from. At least baby elephants. <laughs> I heard a noise. Ah! <laughs> Are you taking us way up there? I'm trying. Here we go. Oh no. Whoa, it smells like uh, Tomorrowland Speedway up here. It's so bright out. Do you feel like you're having a good time? I am having a good time. All right, good. I always want to ride Dumbo, and it's always like there are better things to use the fast pass on. But today we did it. Mission accomplished. Oh no, I'm getting dizzy. Are you? Yeah. Should I go down? Go down. I told it to go down. Oh, there it goes. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're looking at a Dumbo butt. Whoa. Going back up. Yeah, yeah. Take me back up, Captain. It takes a second to, like, register. Yeah. It's because you're, like, controlling Dumbo's brain. It's true. It's like Ratatouille. Whoa. I'll tell you what. If there's any time that's perfect for filming, it's right now because I can't see anything. We're going to head into Gaston's to get some Le Fruz brew. We haven't had one in a long time. Yeah. So I, wanna, I don't even remember what it tastes like. I think it's apples, right? I don't know, let's try it. That's what we're getting. Topped with a passion fruit mango foam. Well, that sounds interesting. So here it is, we got our Le Fruz brew and we got it without the whipped topping because we're not sure if Jen can have passion fruit 
I think it's Le Fou. Le, it Le, Le Fou. Fou. Yeah, I just but have a bad way of saying things. <laughs> also, this is cheaper than Butterbeer. Yeah, it's but only $5.79. Yeah, it's cheap. 20 cents cheaper than Butterbeer. Nice. And this is just frozen apple juice with some marshmallow syrup. I don't taste the marshmallow. Oh. I like that. Yeah. Baby likes it. He's making me. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> oh, friends of Gaston. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm his friend. Like Le Fru. Can Le Fou? Yeah. There's no chairs though. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Bring your own chair. Well, that's how you get the good legs, right? Gaston's constantly like working on his physique by doing squats and not sitting in chairs. Squats. Yeah. <laughs> and eat five dozen eggs. I, I'm not his friend anymore. Forget it. Let's give this brew a try. It's actually really good. It's just like frozen applesauce. But it doesn't taste super sweet. Like I thought it was gonna be really sweet. Right? It's good. Yeah. I would eat this again. Eat it. I would drink it again. I would consume it. We are what kind of eating it. It's yeah. nice on a hot day though. I have a brain freeze right now. Mm. How I know I'm getting old. I had to sit down because I had a brain freeze. It hurt really bad. Oh no. What the heck? I'm sorry, this was my idea, so I feel like it's my fault. No, it's not your fault. <laughs> it's uh, nature's I fault. I want my own turkey leg. Nature. Yeah. I want my own turkey leg. I want my own turkey leg too. No. <laughs> Never again. But look at how much it's melted already. I know. It's only been like five So minutes. fast. So LeFou's brew is normally frozen apple juice mixed with marshmallow syrup and then on top they do a, fat, a passion fruit foam but I don't think I can have passion fruit while I'm pregnant so we just got the frozen apple juice with the marshmallow syrup I didn't realize it had marshmallow syrup in it yeah I don't really taste it but you I, said you did I tasted it once I don't taste it no it just tastes like apple juice to me huh Huh, interesting. Do you guys taste it when you order it? Let me know. Have you ever had it before? Oh yeah, have you had it? <laughs> what do you think? Do you think this is better than butterbeer or what? I think I like butterbeer better, but I don't think I can drink butterbeer all the time. No. Too sweet. Time for the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Nice. We did it. Oh, look at you, all J.J. Abrams. <laughs> I just tasted it. Yeah, it's like hanging out in the very bottom. It's only at the bottom of the cup. It's kind of strange tasting it. Yeah, I don't like it. It's like toasted marshmallow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I like the orange, or not the orange juice. I like the apple juice, not the marshmallow. If it was everywhere in there, it would be one thing, but because it's only at the bottom. Yeah. Weird. Butter beer for the win. But, but not frozen butter beer. Just cold butter beer? I, yeah, iced butter beer only. No, oh, it's just cold. We were trying to figure out if you could ride this, and then there's some ladies that are getting off with their newborn babies. So I think we're okay. Well, also, we Googled it. Yeah. So, good. <laughs> oh no, it was a very blustery day. What will we do? East wind treated places with blustery. Oh. He's got puns. <laughs> Alright Jen, pop quiz. Where is the picture of Toad handing over the deed to Owl? Isn't it right there? It is right here. Right there. He just broke the fourth wall. I know that guy. What is this thing? Exciting. I forgot how cute this ride is. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. We actually we rode this ride in Tokyo. And I do think that that one is better. This is a close second. It's totally different in Tokyo. I know, I'm saying that that one's better in Oh, yeah. This is a close second. Gotcha. Yeah. The most wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. It's true. Yeah. So we 
looked in the gift shop and we didn't show it, but they had a little onesie and it was um, Winnie the Pooh with like a... A Union Jack? But he had like the, what's the hat that they wear? Oh, he's the, dressed like a beef eater. Yeah, is that what they're called? Yeah. The like guard guys? Yeah. The big hat thing? Yeah. And I was like, I didn't understand why he was like a British thing. Winnie the Pooh is British? Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Since when? Well, since he was written. Not know that. Yeah. Time for some dinner. I'm gonna stop by the village house, get something to eat. Well, let's see. We're gonna check and see if there's anything we want here. Okay. I know you guys were asking for cheaper dining options at Disney. And I think this is one of them, so let's look at the menu. Okay, we got pizzas, chicken parmesan pasta, chicken parmesan sandwich, chicken nuggets, anti-pasto salad, we got kids meals. So we got a chicken parmesan sandwich, some french fries and a water here. Boy oh boy. That's a good looking chicken parmesan. <laughs> what does it look like? This looks like a bunch of marinara. Oh, is there no cheese? No, I don't... Not that I see. Oh, I thought there was cheese. I thought there would be cheese. Huh. I think we're gonna need some napkins. <laughs> we're gonna split this and, and then, then maybe go to Pecos Pills and have something else. So we can show you guys more than one option, but we figured here's one entree. Jen found the rogue cheese. It's under there. Who's hiding? Yeah. So the chicken parmesan sandwich is a thin breaded fried chicken patty with sweet marinara and a slice of mozzarella on a bun. What do you think? Tim compared it to like cafeteria food. I would say that that's pretty fair. Yeah? Yeah, it was like $13.50. So, well, you know. That's okay. It was good chicken. Yeah. Now that we've had half dinner, <laughs> time to have the second half of dinner over at Pecos Bills. I always like to check the wait times of Peter Pan's flight when we're coming through here just to see how busy it is. What are we at right now? 70. That's not bad at all. But it's, it's 8 o'clock. Yeah. So the park closes when? At 10. In like two hours. And the time for the fireworks changed. It's at 9 now. It was at like 9.45 before. Oh yeah, I'm excited that they're earlier. Yeah. I want to go in this Haunted Mansion gift shop and see if they have any baby stuff. Okay. Speaking of Haunted Mansion, they have a special event coming up because it's the anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. So I believe that she's here for the anniversary. And so this is Madame Leota in her mortal corruptible state? Yeah. Oh. And the anniversary is August 9th. Oh wow. And you'll be able to come here. There's special merchandise. You can come and get special pins and other merchandise, but also there's a chance for you to get a death certificate here. I just don't know how it happens. They're like opening early on August 9th to be able to get this type of stuff. 7.45 in the morning. Look at that fancy lounge fly fanny pack you got there. I guess it's also called a bum bag. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> but it's 45 bucks. Pretty expensive. It feels nice though, it feels really nice. Yeah. And I like this shirt too. Oh yeah. It's cool. I like its pocket. And it's 35 bucks. Nice. Whoa, there she is. All the eyes showed up and the crow showed up. Oh, and there's a skull that has glowing eyes. That's pretty neat. I feel like it's making all kinds of noise, too. Whoa. It's like it's made of magic. Whoa. I like it. So we tried to ask about how to get the death certificate on August 9th. Even the cast members don't know. They're like, I have no idea. You just gotta show up on the 9th. But they did tell us that if you have a ticket for the Villains After Hours party on the 8th, on August the 8th, that it's kind of like gonna be in soft opening, the merch. Yeah. So if you have a ticket for that night, you might be able to get the merch early. Or you will be able to get the merch early. Some of the merch early. Yeah, but I don't know if that includes the death certificate. I don't know. And I do know that it does not include the Madame Leona pop figure. Yeah, and also, I don't know if you have to buy the death certificate or if it's just the thing they're giving out for the anniversary. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds cool. I want that. Yeah. But also, we did go to the Villains After Hour party and we loved it. We had a fantastic time. We'll link that video down below if you want to see what it's all about. But we liked it a lot. Yeah, look, it's all gone. Or it's still there, but like it's all covered up. What is it? This was where I bought the turkey leg. Oh, this is like that, that uh... It was like a marketplace. Yeah, where they, you had like fruit and stuff? Yeah. Okay. And there was seating out here. What's happening? I don't know. Oh, let's go to Pecos Bills. Okay. Oh, it just looks like it's the seating area that's under construction, but the actual place where you can buy turkey legs is still open and serving turkey legs. The kid back there is playing Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. 
We've done that a few times. We did it with the Country Bear once. We'll link the video down below. It was really fun. Yeah. But he had all of his cards in a book right there and he was just showing all the cards. Yeah. I feel like that's cheating. No, that's how you win. Is it? Yeah. Show all your cards? Yeah. Oh, we, then we played wrong. Right? I just wanted to let you guys know. What? I've gotten comments before that said, every time that Tim, every time that Tim says, we'll link that one down below, uh -huh. Jen groans. I don't. It's always Jen's idea. I'm always telling you like, oh, we should show them this video. Yeah, like know. this video right oh. here where we got delicious, delicious bacon on a stick. It was so good. Yeah. It was like this thick. Yeah. We'll link that down below. It was delicious. You have to try it when you come here. Yeah. But as for us, oh. we're going to Pecos Bills. I didn't realize we were oh, here. Sorry, just Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe not Pecos Bills. This one is much more crowded than Pinocchio's Village House. I think we're gonna get tacos, but I think we're also gonna get this mini dome cake. Why is it chocolate? And also flourless. Wow. This ought to be interesting, right? Yeah. I think this is a limited time thing. Well, we were in line and I said, oh, mobile order looks like it'll be a shorter line. So we got out of line and tried to order, but they don't have the mini dome cake on mobile ordering. You, you can, sorry, you can only order churros on mobile ordering. Hey, what the heck? the desserts yeah so we got back in line now which is order. strange because at other places like casey's you can mobile order the specialty but, stuff uh, well that's okay it's not a very long line so i mm. wanted to show you guys this is how the tacos come and then you come up to the fixin bar and you put everything on them so the cauliflower one has some pineapple salsa it looks like it looks interesting yeah there's the final outcome after we went to the fixin bar and then we got some sour cream and some salsa for the side. But also, this was cheaper than our chicken sandwich that we just bought. This was only um, $10.99, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because there's no sides. Right. And then this was $5.99. Oh. And the uh, cashier said it was very spicy. It was sort of spicy with cayenne pepper, so yeah. we'll see. I don't know, but Pecos Bill is definitely a very hectic place to get something to eat. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it's always it's, packed. But it's inexpensive. Yeah, that cauliflower was intensely spicy. It was so good. And the beef was intensely hot, like, like temperature, temperature hot. Yeah. I really liked everything that we just ate a lot. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, because you can like, add as much sour cream as you wanted. I love sour cream. You can add as much salsa as you wanted. It was good. But we haven't tried the dome cake yet. It's really spicy too, I'm nervous. Yeah, let's give it a try. Oh, it's got like some filling on the inside. Is that the spicy stuff? I don't know. Oh, I think that's the creme brulee. Oh. Smells spicy. Does it? It's not as spicy as he made it out to be. He said it'll sneak up on you. That cauliflower? A lot spicier than this. Really? Oh yeah. This isn't so bad. Yeah, and it has... Oh, I can smell it. It does smell spicy. Yeah. Okay, there it is. It's like a red hot. Oh, is that, it? That type of hot. Okay. So like now it's just in my mouth. <laughs> oh, you know? no. Well, it's not a, like a spicy hot. It's just like a hot. Let me try it. All right. It does smell spicy. Pretty good. Okay, what do you think? Do you taste the spicy? Not yet. But I know it's coming. It's not so bad. No. Yeah. The cauliflower was definitely spicier. Yeah. It's so good. In the time that we ate, it got dark out. That was pretty quick, right? It was. Like we went inside, it was daytime, now it's nighttime. <laughs> Over here at Aloha Isle, we've got something brand new. This just came out today. They're offering Dole Whip in a souvenir tiki bowl. That's the souvenir bowl that you get with your Dole Whip. Interesting. It's kind of like flimsy feeling. Yeah, sort of thin. Boys and girls, dreamers of all ages. That's me. In just 10 minutes, the Magic Kingdom invites you to enjoy our nighttime spectacular. Happily ever after. Presented by Pandora Jewelry. Our journey begins in just 10 minutes. Thank you. Hey, Jen. Hey. Let's watch him from Fantasyland. Oh, yeah, I love it back there. Heck yeah. So, all of this right here that you're seeing, that's because they spray down the roofs out here before the fireworks. Oh, so they don't catch on fire? So they don't catch on fire. Because one time, seven dwarfs caught on fire, a little mermaid caught on fire one time. Yeah. So they installed sprinklers on the roofs. Make sure nothing catches on fire. Good idea. We were just coming back here in Fantasyland and we were noticing that they do not run the carousel during the fireworks. So I thought, that's something I could ride. Let's ride it, but it's not running. Hey. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a pro tip. Even though we are behind the castle, the majority of the fireworks do not come off of the castle. There are fireworks that do come off the castle, but the majority of the fireworks will be behind us over here. 
And it's kind of fun watching them from Fantasyland here because you're kind of enveloped with fireworks. And they're all around you. Yeah. It's even more fun to watch them from Mine Train. Oh yeah. And if I can find that video where we did that, I'll link it down below because it was so beautiful. That yeah, was good. So beautiful. I think it was before and after hours or something like that. Was it? I think so. Okay. Uh, but also they shoot fireworks off of these buildings. So they're just kind of everywhere back here. It's going to be good. Yeah. I can show you the world. I'm going to show you the world. No, I'm going to show you the world. I'm going to show you the world. What the heck? <laughs> There's a clock going off at Pinocchio Village House signifying that it's now 9 o'clock. It's a little bit early, so I'm thinking that maybe the last bong, the fireworks will go off. I don't know what that was. I think this is number six. Seven. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Eight. Okay, here it goes. Oh, I think you're right. One more. Nine. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> I love it. This is really cool. Oh, no, I got goosebumps. Oh, uh, you're going to cry tonight, aren't you? No, I always cry. <laughs> oh, man, are you guys ready? I feel it building right now. I feel like this is the only time I wish we had a uh, 360 camera. <laughs> looking right now? <laughs> I'm so our journey comes. 
comes to an end. I don't see her. There she is. We did it. That's so hard to film. Holy cow, uh, fireworks from Fantasyland are amazing. It was so good. But definitely hard to watch because you're like, look that way, look this way, look that way, look this way. Plus it like gets in your hair and your eyes and all of your clothes. Yeah, we got uh, like fireworks debris rained on us. Yeah, that's by far the best place to watch them. Watch them in front of the castle first so you know yeah. the, you see the production. But then after Watch them back there by the carousel. And then after that, watch them from the dock next to the Liberty Bell. And then after that, watch them from Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. And then after that, watch them from the Poly Beach. Oh yeah. Is that all of it? Yeah, those are our hot tips. What do you guys think? Now that I've told you guys about the sprinklers on the roofs, are you guys gonna notice the sidewalk being wet more often? I will. Because the sidewalk's totally dry over there, but like soaked right here <laughs> because of the sprinklers on the roofs. <laughs> The roofs. Roof sprinklers. It's been a long time since we've been in Magic Kingdom at night. It's as beautiful as ever. Now I remember why we don't come here at night. It's busy leaving here. The bus is going back to TTC pretty efficient. Literally like three of them stacked up right here just waiting to oh four of them. Well that was an exciting night. Yeah it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. It did. Uh, it was pretty hot but other than that it cooled off after the sun went down, um, yeah. so that was nice. It wasn't so super hot. I will also tell you guys that I'm glad that we tried some of the more budget-friendly options to eat at. Yeah. Because, <laughs> sorry, Ben, it's being so crazy. Um, Pecos Bills was delicious, and yeah. I think that that's my favorite, like, that's a quick serve, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite quick serve. But it did take a long time to get our food there compared to Pinocchio Village House was like in and out real quick. But I think it's because it's better. Yeah. I think more people... Well, I think that it's because it's better and I also think that not as many people know that Pinocchio Village House is back there. You don't think? No, because it's kind of like in the back of the park, kind of hidden a little bit. Hmm. Whereas like Pecos Bills, it's like, there it is. It's like on the way to a lot of things. Same thing with Casey's. Hmm, okay. Dang, we didn't try that hot dog tonight. No, we didn't, but honestly, I'm glad that we didn't because I liked, I, I kind of have a feeling that we wouldn't have liked it. Oh. I saw some people talking about it and they were like, it's really gross. Oh no. So, I'm happy that I liked my dinner. Yeah. <laughs> the, the cauliflower tacos were really, really good. Super spicy. They were like fried spicy cauliflower and then they had some little pieces of pineapple salsa kind of mixed in. So and it was the like- the cauliflower was breaded too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I liked it though. I thought it was really good. I think you can get that same cauliflower at uh, Golden Oak Outpost. Can you? Yeah. Hmm. But not in a taco form, just like on its own. Just gotcha. Like eating cauliflower nuggets. <laughs> well, probably good. Yeah. And then, um, what else? Oh, we got to ride a couple rides. That was exciting. Yeah. And then watching the fireworks from Fantasyland is like always wonderful. Yeah. It was so nice. We totally could have done more than three fast passes, but we decided to watch the fireworks and eat instead. Yeah. So. I think we did kind of a lot though, because we got there at what, 6.30? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so we did a lot like in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. And then getting out of the park, it took us 40 minutes to get from the fireworks to our car. That wasn't too bad. So if it's really, really busy like it was when we left, take the bus. Oh yeah. Like the bus was way the way to go. And I was surprised that they didn't have the Main Street bypass open because it must not have been as busy as it felt. I don't know, it felt really busy. It did feel really busy, <laughs> but on really busy nights, they open up the Main Street Bypass, so you mm -hmm. go behind the Main Street stores rather than down the center. All in all, fantastic night. So, yeah. with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Kaya. I'm TJ. And now it's time to pay the price.